Hello everyone and welcome to just the tip of Call of the Sea, the debut game from the indie studio Out of the Blue. I don't know much about it beyond it being a first person adventure game with puzzles and a narrative focus, but the brief glimpses I've seen of it before now have me intrigued, so let's get into it. This is the most genuine just the tip I can do. It is from the very, very beginning. So let's discover what this game is. I'm already a fan, that art is gorgeous. That is very, very nice. Uh, I've heard from some people that this game has a very Firewatch kind of tone, but with more, like, gameplay. Um, already got some Cthulhu vibes going on here. Wahanagal, in particular, is uh, part of the Cthulhu chant. What are those voices? I'm in. You hooked me. You did it. Prologue. A family heirloom. Oh, I'm in the water. Okay. Can I swim faster? Nope, this is it. It looks pretty, though. Um, Where am I? Good question, lady. Good question. Judging by the carving, I want to say, like, Hawaii, maybe Tahiti? But, uh... Yeah, I was not expecting like the cold open on straight up Cthulhu stuff. I've been here before. Hello. Doors. Clocks. Yep, good. Fantastic. Love it. I'm liking the music. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Well, that's no good. Ooh. Pretty green bioluminescent bullshit. I'm climbing these stairs again. Does it count as climbing if you're swimming? Asking for a friend. The voices are calling me. Mm hmm This chair looks important. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I I have to get it. Yep. I have to You gotta. It's important. Ah! Okay, yeah, this art style is strong. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. Your family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness. I'll search for one myself. Oh. He said. And in that search. Seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever. Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. All right, time to get uh, ready. Uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. So, yeah, weird Cthulhu vibes. Okay, I'm in. I love the art style. It is worth pointing out that I'm playing this on an original launch Xbox One, the OG from 2013, and. Uh, Seems to run fine. It loaded a little bit slow in the very beginning, and graphically it could look a little bit sharper, but it's fine. It does the job. I believe this game is also available on Xbox Series S and X, and also PC, so if what you see here looks good to you, uh, then I would recommend checking it out on any other system apart from this one. November 1934. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Okay. I got my diary. It's very important. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Now that's an explorer name. Sorry, an art teacher name. Curious things from my journey. Nora, remember this. That's her house, I have to assume. It's not letting me change pages, but I can change sections. So there's some story in there. Finally arrived in Tahiti. Okay, it is Tahiti. All right, what do we got here? A mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Uh, Nora Everhart, pa Papite, Tahiti. One package. The it's either the 10th of September 1934 or the 9th of October. Because Americans don't know how to do dates properly. Get me some gloves on. 
Can't go out with my hands all uncovered. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Hey, if it's back in the 30s, people just... They don't know any better just yet. And they won't for some time. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? How silly of me. What's that? I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. So I imagine that, like, light texture pop-in that's happening with all the uh, interactables probably won't be there if you play on a more powerful system. Uh, prepaid number 10355. Or Everheart. The SS Carmel. November 1st. Alright, November's a good month. I like November. Um, can't close my window. What if it rains? What's this? Not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. It's a relief that I don't need it to oh, walk anymore. I have a cane. Okay, that seems about right. Um, I don't need to put any more clothes on. I'm good. Oh, hang on. Good. <laughs> love this song. Yep, love that song. All five seconds of it before I get DMCA'd. I've still got to pack up a few more things. I do. Oh. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. I just... But I just said. Okay. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Yep. I mean, it's all fascinating stuff. It really is. Oh my. I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Crap. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Aha, my journal. How do I... How do I open the journal? Y. It's the Y button. 506. How do I... Oh, oh, it's the right stick to interact with that. That's weird. 506. Ta-da! Now it's open. I thought that was a gun for a second. This it's way cooler than a gun. Relic came in the package I received at home. Neat. Whoa. I saw also cool. In one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Wait, she drew that after waking up? That's wild. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. It looks like directions, I guess. Fascinating. Truly, truly fascinating. Okay, so we're here in Tahiti to find her husband, I assume. Alright, I like a good mystery. I'm in. You've got me. Now, yeah, as I was saying before, this kind of... I, I've gotten some Firewatch vibes from this, and people have told me as much. But, it has some more, uh... More puzzly elements to it, supposedly. Which, I feel like that was the thing missing from Firewatch. There wasn't a whole lot of actual game there. If this can manage to straddle that line between visual novel and, uh, game, then that'll be fine. I'll see you in three days, then. It's not often you get one of these logo scrolls in-game. Do I? What, what do the legends say? Can someone remind me about what the legends say, please? Whoa. Alright, that's pretty bright. But not really. Well, it's not bright, there's a lot of bloom. Uh, subtitles could do with some oh, backing like color. My husband is, supposed to be. is that water in my boat? That's not good. Okay, is it just me who finds her referring to her husband as old pal really funny? I mean, it's cute, but it's also very funny. And from there to this place, an island in the middle of the Pacific. The Pacific's a scary place. There's so much ocean. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I... There's a big dumb key! Yeah, this is the island. This can't be a coincidence. Oh my god. I love me a good late title card.
Yeah, her drawing's missing the giant lettering, but uh, that's fine, we can add that later. Am I with someone, or am I just on this motorboat by myself? Alright, uh, frame rate's a little weird. But that's fine. It might not be the frame rate, it might be the frame pacing. Surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to yeah, someone had to put these here. Why? But yeah, okay, you've got me you got me intrigued, game. Show me what you got. Cthulhu stuff, a missing person. Uh, really nice looking art. It really does make me wish I was playing this on a decently powered PC or on the uh, Series X or something. Because I feel like there's a, a prettiness to this game that is just not being conveyed here. Hey, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Why did I bring my entire suitcase? I'll my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. All right. Do we have any way to move faster? Oh no, it's everyone's gone to the rapture again. So somebody was on this island recently. Oh, hello. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. All right, lady, don't act like you're better than the Polynesians. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Uh-huh. What do we got here? A note written in French. I only understand hmm. two words. Il and mort. Island and death. Well, she got further than I did. I got nothing there. Must be a warning about the dangers of the island. That is a sick machete. This machete is completely Aww. The cool handle though. Damn it. All right. Well. Is this a way that we can go? Let's check that out in a little bit. Let's continue searching this first little area. Oh, I need to move faster. Is this Okay, I need to I need to check. It's going to kill me if I don't controls. Change bindings. Run. Run. Right trigger. I'm... Hmm. I'm definitely holding the right trigger right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Oh, thank God. Can I just have that, like, toggle to always on? What is this? Hey, buddy. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Does it? Um, these look like little people. That's cool. All right. Hey, look, another one of them. What have you got for me, buddy? Uh, okay. Yep. Sure. Is this a thing that I can interact with? No, I can't even step up there. But there are steps here. Why? I don't know. It seems like that was utterly pointless. What do we got over here? Oh, hey. But clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That one's just on the ground. I was wondering if I could pick it up and maybe put it on that rock over there. But, uh, nope, apparently not. Hey, buddies. How we doing, plank buddies? Oh. Uh, we sacrificing things to big lizards? Is this a Godzilla? Is this fusing Godzilla and my goddamn Cthulhu shit together? Okay. Yeah, these are definitely telling a story. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Where we're going, we don't need doors. Something. Oh, look at that nice hook. That's a nice hook. Um, what goes in here? Something's missing here. Sure is. 
Alright, that's busted. I've already broken the shit. Good job, white lady. Coming in and breaking all their stuff. This box. See, oh, you. yeah, okay. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So Wild. Sent me this key was here. Um, the flower offerings. There's like some sort of cog down there. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Can I take the knife? A carving tool. It's a knife. A carving tool. <laughs> Just call it a knife. Okay. Let's go back to those flower offerings. Obviously, there was something there. I've gone too far. It was just in here. So, it said... Ooh, here we go. Is this a loose tile here? It is! Wonderful. Well, look what's hidden here. Not very well, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll take it. Let's get this door open. Let's unlock Cthulhu's grave. Who knows? Probably doing something terrible. I have to imagine. This may be the Ooh, first that's time cool. I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling. Thing. Newburyport sounds like the fakest name for a place. It's like, let's choose four, like, pretty generic uh, toponyms, I think that's the word that I'm using correctly, and just smash them together. Is that Harry? Oh! Harry, you were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! You Come found a photo of him, that's not quite the same. Everybody. Where did you and all your crew go? And who's that shady dude in the suit on the right? If, if you're in a suit, on a tropical island, you're immediately suspicious to me. Lady Shannon. Oh, that's not the button I want. Familiar. I'd better check my journal. So, ship. Lady Shannon, cargo, six people, fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, weapons, and explosives, supplies for three weeks. Port du Papite. Alright, uh, let's open up my journal. Notes. Harry was on this island. I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely—I uh, think I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters he sent me. But where did they go? Hmm. Let's see. Where would I find that name? Where do I find the Shannon, or the Lady Shannon? In the log, I guess? Okay, hang on. July 6th. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean, blah blah blah. July 14th, last night I had another vivid, another of my vivid dreams, but this time something different, sort of strange island, etc, etc. September 16th, I keep waking up to... Uh, to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry. It's been three months already. Um, October 10th. An, an enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All these, uh, all three, were in a package I received yesterday postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Find him. 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was an ancient name of Tahiti. The same place the package came from. Okay. October 14th, following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19th. First, I'll sail to Tahiti on the on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. October 23rd, I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver, blah blah blah. November 1st, found, finally found Tahiti. Hmm, finally arrived in Tahiti, rather. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough 
uh, tough something to something. I can't read this handwriting. I feel like... Oh, here we go. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. Okay, cool. So that was the ship they were on. That added... That gave me nothing. Years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I'm glad, lady. I'm happy for you. Stand here. I can feel the air is denser. The water does some weird stuff. Um. Yeah, this is a nice looking game, but there is some weird stuff going on. Before I go too much further into this area, I'm gonna go back up and check on that thing that I passed. I feel like this is a game where I'm gonna stumble around and like try to avoid. Um, the critical path for as long as possible, but then I'll like accidentally go down the critical path. What a beautiful mountainous landscape! Sure, can't disagree with that. Oh, there's a little thing down here, and there's another one of those. Anything in here worth checking out? Nope, I guess not. Hmm. These little areas are surprisingly open. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I mean, shit, may as well. With you, old pal. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Hey, sure. Uh, you're not wrong. That is definitely a symbol. Now, how far did I get through here before I... Yeah, I got to here, and then I turned back. Okay, cool. So I've done a loop. That's fine. What do we got over here? I'm probably going to have to take those three symbols of those big red carvings and apply them to something. Who knows? Not me. I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of them. You know what? Oh my. Maybe I was wrong. So nice, though. Ah, oh, look at the birds. What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Called huh. lorikeets. I was gonna guess that they were uh, lorikeets. Okay. Hey, buddies. Hee <laughs> Look at them go. Are oh, these little bird feeders? That's cute. Can I climb on this? Can. To what end? I don't know. Can't get down there. Look at the game. Whoa. I feel like I'm floating. From an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. The Sumatra Queen? Hmm. Well, there's a gate over there. Which does nothing for me. It's over this way. Water. Great. Hmm. More offerings? Shells? Alright, let's check out that gate, I suppose. And then we'll, uh, look at the big monolith. Unless this just opens the door. That's convenient. Oh, hey, we're back at the front. Look at that. Okay. This seems pretty neat. I'm, I'm into this. Um, I do want to point out that I'm not sure if I'm actually going to review this, just because we are near the end of the year, and it's in that time that I'm going to have to write my Game of the Year list. And with Cyberpunk, who knows what I'm actually going to get to review before the end of the year. But I would like to get to this, even if it has to... Take till January. Okay. These markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. So we had one that represented the sea. And we had those three, like, vertical arrows. Pointing.
pointing up. I guess they might represent the mountain? And then there was that one that was in the water, which I didn't actually get a good look at. Maybe I'll go have a look at that, but I haven't found a place to use them yet, so... I don't know. I don't know. For all I know, these symbols could be useless. Useless, I say. Oh no, it's the sun. That makes sense. And those... okay. I mean, I wasn't... I was wrong, but I was also right in a way. So what do these ones mean, then? Do they mean anything? It's honestly hard to say. Is there anything over here? Apart from that barrel that I was looking at. Because it's not like I've been given a, a clear direction to go. Or anything to investigate. Hmm. I'm not sure at which at what point I'm going to look at this game and say, okay, that's enough for this quick look. This is just the tip. Because said that he would go to the Yeah, I'll have no him. idea what I'm doing at some point. He wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating. No matter how harsh the truth. I mean that's a good policy to have. Lies are bad. And it's really easy not to lie, as it turns out. Did I? Wait, when did I... How did I miss that? I guess I walked over to here and saw this. And then I went down that path. I guess I just didn't even realize that this was here. Alright. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Lady... You don't know that for sure. Oh boy. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Hmm. Okay. So we got mountains, we got waves. We got sun. So sun. Waves. I don't know what these ones are. Hmm. Perhaps I have more red planks to find? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Sun, birds, mountains, waves, fish. Sun, birds, mountains, waves, fish. So I'm guessing that's fish there, and I'm guessing birds? Or maybe birds are these ones because they've got wings. Sun, birds, mountains, waves, fish. Maybe the fish one is... Um, that one? See, my problem here is I don't know which one fish is and which one mount, uh, birds are. But I feel like I almost have them right. So, let's go back and check on the birds. And then I'll check that one that's in the water. Maybe that'll... Wah! All the graphics just came in at once. Oh, I didn't even realize that that said my name. What? Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. That is creepy. And also, don't deface sacred traditional sculptures like that, you fucks. God. Even for the sake of fun, like, narrative puzzle making and such. Okay, so this is the one with the bird feeder. Which is the three uh, 
There are lorikeet we go. feathers scattered around this unit. So that one's got to be birds. I draw the symbol in my journal. And assuming that one's birds, we could just try it with every other one and try and figure out which one the fish is. Or, if my hunch is correct, oh, all the island just loaded in. If my hunch is correct, it'll be this little fishing, uh, fishing hut over here that has what the fish are. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There we go. There's another symbol inside it. That's cool. So we've got it now. Um, I guess that way is the way back. That way is the faster way back, at least. I'm getting kind of a... Not a, um... A, like a tiny bit of a witness vibe to it, but I think that's more just because of the colorful island than anything. Um, the, the puzzles... The way that the lady is talking really does uh, kind of give away the game rather than letting you do the puzzles yourself. That said, I do I did completely forget which ones were which. So arrows and the fins. So fins and arrows. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. Nailed it. Cool. That's my ticket across the river then. So we can go explore more. That seems fun. Why do they look like bodies? I don't like that. Like, could they make these look anything less like bodies? Alright, well, I think if we show any more of this, uh, we would be ruining the game for people who want to go out and play it, because it's a puzzle game, so, you know, you don't want to just do all the puzzles for everyone. But that's a good taste of what to expect from Call of the Sea, I think. There's some intrigue, there's some weird Cthulhu stuff going on, there's a missing husband, and like, the, the, mis uh, the mystery of her condition. There's some cool plot hooks here to kind of get you invested. I like it. Uh, and I just wish that run was maybe a little bit faster, and that I was playing it on something a bit more powerful. But, we'll, uh, we'll see how this all shakes out if I do a review, or when I do a review. But thank you so much for joining me. For just the tip of Call of the Sea, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.